All right, so example two now for the limit of a function. We're going to solve the same limit that we did in the previous example, but we're going to solve it uh, with a different approach now. We're going to use a table of values. Okay, so the limit as x approaches 3 of x squared plus x minus 12 over x minus 3. So to prove that a limit exists, we first have to prove that it exists from both sides and that it equals from both sides. So let's start off by finding the limit as x approaches 3 from the left side of this function x squared plus x minus 12 over x minus 3. And if we do a table of values to find that out, what x values will we use if, uh, if we're approaching 3 from the left side or from the negative side? Well, we can use 2.9, 2.99, and then let's use one more just to get closer to 3. And if you take 2.9, your x value here, and you plug it into your function, then you will get 6.9 as the y value. Be careful with brackets on your calculator when you're plugging this in into the function. If we plug in 2.99, we'll get 6.99. And if we plug in 2.999, we'll get 6.999. So it's pretty obvious. We can see from this table that as x is approaching 3 from the left side, y is approaching 7. Okay, so it's pretty safe to say that this limit is equal to 7 as x approaches 3 from the left side. Now let's do it from the right side. So the limit as x approaches 3 from the right side of our function x squared plus x minus 12 over x minus 3. So if we make a table of values for this, Now we're going to approach 3 from the right side. So let's use 3.1, 3.01, and 3.001. So we're getting, uh, we're getting closer to 3 from the, uh, from the positive side or from the right side. So if we plug in 3.1 into our x values for this function, we'll get uh, 7.1. Again, be careful with your brackets on your calculator when you're plugging these x values in here. Then when we plug in 3.01 for our x into this, we'll get 7.01. And if we plug in 3.001, we'll get 7.001. So like our left-sided limit, it's pretty safe to say as x is approaching 3 from the right side, uh, the y value is approaching 7. It's getting closer to 7. So this limit as x approaches 3 from the positive side of this function is equal to 7. And now since the limit of this function as uh, x approaches 3 from the left side is equal to 7 uh, as it approaches 3 from the right side is also equal to 7, we can say that the limit as x approaches 3, the general limit, of this function over x minus 3 is also equal to 7. So we, uh, we took this limit question that we had and we solved it in two different ways. In the example before we did it by graphing and in this example we did it by a table of values. Either way, the, um, the process is you need to find first the one-sided limits from each side. If they equal the same thing, then the, uh, the general limit equals and, um, sorry, the general limit exists and it equals that same value.